It's Grandma Cheryl. Let's read another story out of It Happened One Day. The Dog and the Cat The Dog and the Cat Once upon a time, an old man and an old woman had a magic ring. The ring was made of gold, and it gave out a beautiful soft light. The magic ring gave food to the old man and the old woman. That is why it was a magic ring. Each day, the old woman took the magic ring and rubbed it in her hands. She rubbed it hard, and it gave out a soft golden light. Then she put it on the table, and there in front of them was all the fine food they could eat. Now the old man and the old woman had a dog and a cat. After the old man and the old woman had had all they wanted to eat, there were many good things left for the dog and the cat. A little mouse lived in the house, and a little bird lived in a tree near the garden gate. The mouse and the bird had all they wanted to eat, too. For a time, all went well. Then one day, the magic ring was gone. The old man and his wife had nothing to eat. The dog and the cat had nothing to eat. The mouse and the bird had nothing to eat. Dear me, dear me, said the old woman. Our magic ring is gone. What shall we do now? We must find the magic ring, said the old man. Come, cat. Come, dog. Help us find the ring. They looked under the table and under the chairs. They looked here and they looked there, but they could not find the ring. Then the dog said to the cat, Come with me, cat. The ring is not in the house. If we are to eat, we must go and find the ring. So out the door went the dog and the cat. The little bird in the tree called to the dog and said, I know where you can find the magic ring. It is far away over a great river. It is in a big box in an old house. A dog cannot get into the box, and a cat cannot get into the box. You must take the mouse with you to gnaw a hole in the box. The dog said to the cat, Cat, you must watch, you must catch the mouse. The mouse must go with us to gnaw a hole in the box and get the magic ring. In a minute, the cat caught the mouse. She told her that she must go with them to find the magic ring. I will go with you, said the mouse. I must have food to eat, too. Get on my back, said the cat. We must be off if we want to be home by night. Come with me, said the bird. I will show you the way. And away they went, the bird, the dog, and the cat with the mouse on her back. It was not long before they came to the big river. The bird said to the others, What can you do now? How will you get over the river? I will swim, said the dog. Cat, you cannot swim such a big river. Get on my back, and I will carry you to the other side. The cat and the mouse were afraid. The mouse was on the cat's back. Now the cat got on the dog's back. They were soon on the other side of the river. Before long, the bird called, here is the house I told you about. Go in and find the box. The dog and the cat and the mouse went into the house. There was the big box. Now, mouse, said the cat, gnaw a hole in the box and get the magic ring. So the mouse gnawed a hole. Then she went into the box and came out with the magic ring. Give me the ring, said the cat. Let me carry it, said the mouse. If you don't give me the ring, said the cat, I will eat you. The mouse was so afraid of the cat that she gave her the ring. Then the mouse ran into a hole. The cat and the dog and the bird had to go home without her. When the dog and the cat came to the big river, the dog took the cat on his back. Soon they were on the other side. Then the cat said to the dog, Why go this long way? Come with me, I know another way home. But the cat's way home was a long way for the dog. When they came to a wall, the cat could climb over it. The dog had to walk around it. There were many walls on the way, so the cat got home first. When the cat got home, the bird was in the tree near the gate. Come and see, called the bird. Here is the cat with the ring. The old woman ran out of the house. There was the cat with the magic ring. You are a good cat, said the old woman. 
But where is the dog? The dog ran away to play in the river, said the cat. He is a bad dog, said the old woman. He shall never live in my house again. But you, cat, shall always sit by the fire and have all the milk you want. Then the old woman and the cat went into the house. Just then the bird called out again. Here comes the dog. He is home at last. The old man came out of the house and said to the dog, Why did you run away to play in the river? Why did you not help the cat find the magic ring? I did not run away, said the dog. I helped. We all helped find the ring. Then the dog and the bird told the old man what the cat had done. Come into the house, said the old man, and we will have some good things to eat. The old man told the old woman what the cat had done. The cat said nothing, nothing at all. The old woman rubbed the magic ring, and there before them was all the food they could eat. There were many good things, too, for the dog and the cat and the bird. Now, cat, said the old woman, you may always have food to eat, but you shall not sit by my fire. Get out of my house. The cat ran out the door, and the dog ran after her. The dog was very angry. He ran after the cat to bite her. Away went the cat as fast as she could go. At last, she had to run up a tree to get away from the dog. This was a long time ago, but from that day to this, dogs do not like cats, and from that day to this, a dog will run after a cat. Whoa, what do you think of that story? Remember to hit like and subscribe. It will help more than you know.